You hear her? She's dog cussing them. You hear that? All right, gang. I get called to some of the coolest, the absolute coolest jobs in the world. Customer called and let me know he was actually up in Tennessee and really nobody wanted to kind of get into this one and kind of mess with and well i understand this is probably one of the most unique jobs that i have done in a while because i'm going to get to tear some stuff up i got some i got air compressor power tools and some really cheesy bees right now so the story is the bees have been here for for about three four weeks this this wall is actually the backside of an outdoor shower. This little square box or, or cover, all right, was set there so they could access any of the faucet stuff. Well, that little space gave the bees a place to go in and up. We're about two feet up. We're gonna get down to right here because when I put the inspection camera up, I know I've got bees into right here. I'm really hoping that I've got a, another stud right here. They didn't just kind of go from here to here with it. Otherwise, this thing is gonna be this wide and we're gonna take all that off. Yeah, um, thank God we got the smoker. Let's see if we can get that going. Oh yeah. Let them know I'm here. Power tools. Okie dokie. That's my that's gonna be my workspace, but here's my fear. Well, there was a stinger. If there's anything that goes this way, I can still reach it because it's only 10 inches or so going that direction. So we're gonna cut down the down this stud over here and cut this out, make a window. And hopefully I'm right. Because if I'm wrong, ew. He's gonna, he's gonna end up, the guy that comes and fixes this is just gonna end up having to take the rest of this out. That's where we're at next. Let's cut a hole. Finally, finally got through to this thing. Got the rock off, got the backer off, got that cut. Let's see what a three month old beehive looks like. Check it out. Oh man. They are loaded now. They're a little cheesy right now. They have been ever since we started this. Let's taste this right here. Oh my my. Mm. Can you say privet? I can. That's good right there. I think we're gonna have. I think we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five sheets of comb and a lot of bees. A lot of cheesy pissy bees right now. That's all right. They'll settle down in a minute. We'll get the numbers down and they'll, they'll start chilling out. I think they even got a little pocket of bees back there hiding. I don't know if you can see them or not. Anyway, I'm getting to it. Let's do it.
All right, gang, that was one heck of a day. We spent about two and a half hours getting home. Our bees are not very happy right now. We're gonna go right over there next to this white, white hive right here. But I don't want them flying to all my other hives. So I'm just gonna set them back out here for right now. I want them to take up with my box as quick as possible. But we got one problem. Did you guys, mm-hmm. Did you guys see me catch the queen? She got up in that pile, probably up in the corner. And uh, I missed her. I've had eyes on her, I know she's in there. But I'm gonna let them settle down for just a minute. And then we're gonna open that up in hopes that they just decide to go to the smell of what's normal for them. That's what I'm hoping. We'll find out here in just a second. Oopsie. All right, let's put this one. Let's put that right there. And we'll just see if they decide to go walking right in. But we're going to watch for our queen over there while we're at it. I decided to chill right here. That's fine with me. Oh, crap. I got to go get a queen cage. Um, all right, I got a queen cage. Now I gotta find a queen. Now that they're kind of chilling out over there, if I could just find her real quick. And I've already seen her. She's uh, she's an orange with a couple black stripes. JP calls them tiger stripes. So she can be hard to find. You guys see her yet? Right there. There she is. Hey, girlfriend. Pretty cool, huh? Let's go ahead and get her in a cage. Hang on. There you go. You hear her? She's dog cussing them. You hear that? Now, this just made it easier. I'd like to thank my friend Adam at Foxhound Bee Company for this box. I, I had an old junky box that had some comb in it that he needed. <laughs> and he gave me a very slightly used, perfectly good find with me because it's got the smells in there. And now, all I gotta do is... Set that there. Come here, girls. Come on over. Real gentle. They're gonna start pheromoning. All these other ones flying around, and they're going to be all over that box. I mean, look at it. They already figuring it out. The rest of them are in there fanning, telling everybody, get over here. See? Now they're happy. Can you hear that? That's all it took. 